The following program has been rated GE by the Kenya Film Classification Board. It is therefore suitable for general family viewing. Hello viewers, welcome to Chungu Chajami. I'm your host, Eunice Mugo. Today, we are talking about life after prison. Have you ever been with someone who is in prison, your friend, your neighbor, your relative? What is it like when you go to visit them? What do you talk to them about? What do they have to say? Today on the show, I have two guests who are going to help us understand how is it to be in prison and how life it is after you've come from prison. I'll let them introduce themselves and talk more about this. Let's talk across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is to double and double four. Welcome, viewers. Santi Sana. Kwa majina yangu na ito Andrew Jogu Mulevi. Jina na kutumikia mungu ni Apostle Tebo. Saidi yote ni miokoka na yesu ni buwana. Karibu katika kipindi cha chungu cha jamii. Welcome. Amen. I'm James Masibo, and in the society, I do two things. Number one, I am a mind education specialist, whereby I go to prisons, and that's why I came into the show, because out there also we go into prisons, many prisons in Kenya, with PCF, uh, leading and guiding them who are there, supporting them, and also second work, I am a pastor. Thank you. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. And thank you. So, we're talking about life after prison. Yes. But we also have life before prison. Mm. Mr. Tembo. Yes. Would you help us understand how was it before you went to prison? Kabla ni ingia jela. Kulingana venye nilikuwa na jua seo nilikuwa na fikiria ni kosawa. Mm-hmm lakini sikuwa sawa. Mm. Nilikuwa naishi maisha na kaa tu ili nikae siku nenda siku rudi. Amuka enda kasi toka kasi ingia mba toka fanya mwezi naisha mwaka inaisha. Nikifikiria ni kawaida mm -hmm. lakini si kawaida. Mm -hmm. So unakanga maisha ya kujipata kwa kuwa maisha bila mwelekeo maisha bila Yesu Haikuangi maisha, mm -hmm. you are just there. Stagnant, doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Siku diso sinaenda, but you are so gi maali, ukingwajia kifo. Wow. Mm. Pastor, as a mind education specialist, we come across people who, do, who are stagnant in life. Yes. What word do you have for them? And how do you help them to identify themselves? Uh, there's a... A city in mm -hmm. the U.S. called Seattle. Mm -hmm. In Seattle, mm -hmm. uh, these were the Red Indians who were the indigenous people there. And as they were living, they had one chief who was like uh, supporting them, pushing them to be busy. Mm -hmm. They were hunters mm -hmm. and gatherers. Mm -hmm. So they kept their flowers, their trees. They did not harm their nature. And then one time, the, that time, the government of U.S. now was uh, taking land here and there. It wrote to the chief saying, "We want give us your land, and then we'll give you uh, the we'll give you free houses. We'll make you houses. We'll be giving you. We'll be paying you every month uh, allowances." And then the chief did not like the idea, saying, "We'll not sell our land. Why? How can we sell the land which belongs to God?" We cannot sell the land. But time to time, the government was writing to them, give us the land, give us the land. So one time the chief gathered them, saying, we cannot give them the land, but we must work hard. So the chief was daily on their neck. Who is not going to work? And why are you not going to work? You can't be seated idle here. So at first it seemed as if the chief was bothering them, but there's a positive thing in this chief. He guided them to be busy and to work. Later on, the chief died. And then the government took the land. So what did the government do? 
It gave people money. It gave them free housing. Uh, comfortable houses, of course. But now, slowly by slowly, because they were given free housing and allowances every month they earn, they started becoming idle slowly. So what do they do? They have money, they have house, they don't need to go to work. Then they start, this I don't mind comes in, leisure comes in. Because now they have food, they, have, they want now new clothes, they go into fashion, now they, are, they now do drugs because they were idle and they have plenty. That's what is killing people outside here. Always our desire is growing high and our demands and our ability is going down. So to make these things merge, my demands, desires are so high, but then my ability is going low. How can I come to fill this gap? So that's where, lazy, because of laziness, now bad habit begins. Either they, some people I know, people who sell drugs so that they may get extra money to fulfill their desires and dreams. I know people who go to bad work, something which you cannot even mention here, the society knows. And eventually, some even start becoming like thieves, and that's where many of them also end up in prison because of such habits. First of all, they do not have a mentor to push them to do something in life. Secondly, their desire is growing higher every day and they are, they are lacking that ability to feed their desires. And that's where they come into problems. Mm. Mr. Tembo, yes. uh, you said uh, you're just living to live. Yeah. Day in, day out, just the normal activities. Mm -hmm. That was life before you went into prison. Yes. So what, made, what happened for you to find yourself in prison? Mm -hmm. Kujipata jela, mm. kitu kwa sana nilikuwa mulevi, mm -hmm. tena mbaya sana, nilikuwa tanka, mm. singe shimba pombe. Mm. <laughs> Ligana hilo falume nilikuwa natumikia, mm -hmm. na nilikuwa nafaa kufanya yoyo wakati. Mm. So, nikawa nafanya kasi, mm. na bandu naenda ije kuwasu mambo ingini ya ifaibe nye mchungaji ya mesema hapa. Mm. Naenda nafanya kasi, mi ni mwarimu, mm -hmm. na pia ni deleva, instructor, wakufunza watu kuendesha. Mm -hmm. So, kuna one of my friend, wapombe na ni deleva. Alikuwa nafanya kasi kwa county government. Ama, wanasimamia mapaki na polisi wa, wa county government. So, siku moja kuja kaniambia na wea sababu, nilikuwa na hile kisimu kinatoshana hivi. Kinetangwa SOS, kinakaa over over. So, hiyo siku moja kaniambia situ toke hivi tu, hiyo siku wapali nipate piliso, situ toke hivi tu, kiindoko tustue watu ilikuwa wakatu wa corona, tutapata kakitu, kitu wakwasa mi nakunyo pombe, nimekunyo pombe tuwa next time, nipaka hile kasi nafanya mwenye petansi, yote minikuwa nafanya petansi, hame nisimamisha kasi, kwa sinikingia sumbui kwanza la sima niende ni toe roko. Hata hiyo roko na shindo ni mikuwa natoa, na, na peleka wapi na natoa roko na kesho bado na kuta mulango pale. Kwa hiyo inatoka. Hivyo ni vuatua na njidanganyango naenda kutoa roko na mbalu kikuja kesho utapata hile roko pale. Mm. So wakafika mahali ya kanifusimamisha kasi. I need money to drink. Nataka pesa hakunywa. Hata shikuwa na shinda na bibi kwa siya likuwa nafanya kasi ba hile time. So hile nikauna mtu wakua na idea mzuri. Hea kwa na pingu. Lakini ya na uvava na mini kwa na kisimu kina kaa hile ya polisi. So tukansa kusungu kaivi, kutoka kawa west, tukaina tuka chukua chukua siku ya kwanza kwa situ make it any lauzadi. Mm. Kustua watu ya una mask, takueka dani, akona pingu, lakini ya rusuwe kufanya hile ka, kasi kwa hata hile kasi hafa ikuifanya kwa rifa, nafa kuwa na robeja within town eh, na hile wakati. So nikaona hile pesa kwa hile mzuri, nimepata ngilitano. Ngilitano ni pobe mingi sana, mungu wa mwenye wata unenda pali unapika kanusu, yota yu kanusu ilikuwa miya moja. So, kumbe ukifikiria unanasa, unanaswa. Tukatoka kawawes, tukajipeleka, tukajipata mpaka membri. Sija igia membri, sijui membri ni wapi, bati tumejipata. Na hii nilikuja kupata revelation ni kiwa ngelezani. Mungu anafanyanga kasi kwa jia tofauti, kulingana na mipango yake. So, pale tulienda, tulienda kushika mtu moja. Kumbe ni UCS wa yoka station na ni aledi. Na sikuwa najua. Yule my friend, 
alistukia kuna deja wajua mwisi ni mwisi wa kaidaula mesoya kuiba mwisi kuwa ni maiba tena hata sikuwa ni mfanya kasi kama ile tena ilikuwa siku yangu ya pili so kwa bila mwanangu tutamshika kaniambia na shinda hata pesa anatumana kaniambia kwa sasa tanipenge litano kumbe saidi alipiga simu nikifikia ni pesa inakuja ameita backup kwa sababu alikuwa anatuoopa kwa sababu alikuwa anaona watu wako na pingu na alikuwa anafikiria ile ni ovava so unaweza kuwa mpaka na buduki so sasa hii alisema kuja hapa wewe kijana wangu kuja ni mnatai pesa mimi tuliona probox imekuja tuka yule jamaa best yangu alianza kusense wajua mtu anafanyanga maovu anakuwa anga ina ile feeling kutakuja kuleta shinda so jamaa alienda pole pole na akae paka ingia kwa kichaka na akapika kichaka akaenda mimi nikabaki pale na ngojea pesa kwa sababu tano unaletea for once at least niona hapo nimekunywa pombe jioni mzima so ikakuja nikajipata polisi wakakuja wakanindadia nikawekwa ndani on tarik 28 mwezi wa samba 2021 nikashikiwa huko mebuli hapo sasa ndio maisha ilianzia the kind of people you meet in prison what are they like are they are their hearts filled with what are they filled with as in how do how do you relate with them in prison so that you can they can open up their hearts to you and to the world hey, thank you you see uh Mind education mm -hmm. is, a, is a very, very essential uh, lessons that people should go through in our country. Mm -hmm. Why am I saying this? Mm -hmm. In mind education, you can know the flow of the heart. Mm -hmm. For somebody to manage himself, he should know the flow of the heart of, of man. Every person I meet, they all fall into one category. They do not know themselves clearly. Now, for example, as our, our friend here is saying, Mr. Tembo, he has a job, but then he cannot know the flow of the heart. So, normally the flow of the heart of people is, they are being dragged into that thing which they cannot even come out of. What is that? Number one, they trust in themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, let me go take liquor. I can overcome this liquor and then I'll come out. What is it? Just one, one, one bottle is not a problem. So you manage one bottle a day, next you go into addiction, so it, it ended up, he lost his job for that. But if you could have asked him, uh, do you want to, can, is it, uh, can, can this liquor overcome you? No, he can say I'm a strong man. So the flow of that is, they go into addiction because mm -hmm. I said there's a, that gap where mm -hmm. my ability mm -hmm. and my desire cannot be met. Mm -hmm. So how, how did he come into that? Mm -hmm. So he had to look for extra money. Mm -hmm. So he went into, 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 uh, into crime to look for extra money. He disguised himself as a policeman. Not only that, many people work for the government. Many people are being employed here and there. Even our children whom we bring up, you give him 100 shillings today, is okay with him, but tomorrow the desire will be above 100, so why will he get that deficit? So he'll have to either lie to the parent, or he'll have to steal to, to another person, and that's what I'm saying. So people should understand the flow of the heart, and that's how, through mind education, we know uh, the flow of the heart, and also that levels of the heart, and with this knowledge, we go into, their, into those who are in prison now. We try to train them when they realize the, what their problem was, now they cannot trust in themselves anymore. Mm -hmm. Like I said, the people of Seattle, when the chief was there, they used to hate the chief. Why is he on our neck? Chief did not give them a chance to trust in themselves. Those who don't go to work, they were really punished. They were really punished by the society, set by the rules of the chief. So when the chief died, nobody was there to push them. Nobody was there to make sure they are going to work. Nobody was there to, on their neck making sure that they are doing something creative and something adding value to the society. And that's why well. they went into laziness, receiving free money, housing, and eventually they went into drugs. So they, they, are now, they influenced the whole world. Everybody wants to wear like U.S. You want to wear like, a, like U.S.? You want a, a fashion jeans? You want, to, you want to dress like them, speak like them, rap like them. Do you have the money? Oh, I don't have the money. Where will I get the money? And now we go into other ways of seeking the money. Mm -hmm. And that's why if you check our site around now, 
That influence is now in our neighborhood and now it's destroying everybody. So people should know the flow of the heart. And that's why we, what we learn in mindset education. Mm. Thank you. So Mr. Tembo, mm -hmm. day two mm -hmm. of trying a new venture, mm -hmm. you find yourself behind bars. Yeah. So how was the process before you went to court and now told the kind of time you're going to serve? Mm. First of all, it was painful. Mm -hmm. So you, because you find yourself, unajipatanga tu kwa nyumba, ulikuwa unalala vizuri kwa ngodoro yako kubwa, unajipata unalala kwa fulo. <coughs> ulikuwa unajipata unalala na bibi yako karibu, unakuto kipinduko unapata na mwanaume. Hakona ndehu kama we. <laughs> na mumepangwa, si kama venye unakaa kwa nyumba kitanda kumbwa, mumepangwa kama ngunia. Uh -huh. Yani, si maisha. Kitu ya kwanza, uh -huh. mtu anachanganyiki yangu. Unajichukia mwenyewe kwanza. Uh -huh. Kwa kuwa unajua chenye kimekulete uko, kitu ya kwanza remember, mtu wakona hile feelings, I did something bad, ndiyo mana niko wapa. So kitu wa kwanza unajichukia yanga sana. Hapo za kuja kufika. But unajipatanga na pain ingine. Na hapo nipo nilikuja kujua, I was sick. Mentally. I was so dead inside my soul. Mm -hmm. Dani sana nilikuwa nimeumia kitambo sana without knowing. Mm -hmm. Na yu ilianzia from 207. Mm -hmm. Until the time unilingia njera. Nipo nilikuja kujua ni meishi nikiwa mwojo. I never knew mbaka yose kuni ringia njela from 207 wakati tuliachana bibi wangu wa kwanza hapo lipo nikuja nikajua kube nikuja nikaumia unajipatanga yani au muzikaja muziklisaja taerewa kuna mambo inatebekanga maisha ni mwako wei unafikiria ni kawaida bati ya ikuwangi kawaida inakujanga inakuhati ukodani kabisa na kuna kitu kibaya kama kuwa na nafsi imeumia na we ujui. Mm -hmm. Mambo inatendekanga, mm -hmm. maisha haku unafikia inenda vizuri, inenda mulama bila we kupanga. Because mm -hmm. there is power somewhere. Mm -hmm. Na sana sana tunikanga power, a power of a tongue. Mm -hmm. Bibi na semanga mungu hamekupe hame ulimi. Mm -hmm. Na hamekupe kiwa na nguvu mingi sana. Mm -hmm. Bale ya power sa dulame is power. Iko na nguvu, mm -hmm. an extraordinary power. Mm -hmm. Yenye mutu awe sinjua mpaka hile siku unakuja kupokea Yesu Kristo. Ndiyo unachanga mm -hmm. ni mnume mbeba. Mm -hmm. So nilishi nikiwa mgonjwa ni kajipata nchela. Mm -hmm. So hile uchungu nimefungiwa. Nimeacha mke wangu. Sababu nienda nikatenda ujinga. Sikuwa kwa sinjugu utapata pombe. Iku so hile ulikuwa mekunyo. Hata kama ulikuwa mekunyo ya mingi. Imeka kwa misi siku ya pili na danga ikiisha. Siku ya tatu nasa kusuet. Kwa sile mwini na itaji pombe na hauna. Saida pale unapangwa pale sasa ndio unasanga kujua uko in the real world. Bale ni unakuanga unakaa tu maisha ili ukae. Ni ndio maana nikwambia pale unaishingi tu uishi because mm -hmm. normally what people do after mwenye kwa nyumbani anajua watu wanaishingi tu maisha ya kawaida. Anaona kuamuka kuoka kuingia kwa mbavu, kuvaa nguo kwenda kasi inakuanga daily routine saku. 24-7 mwaka inaisha. Na hiyo ndi hile maisha watu wengi wanaishi. Mpaka hile siku unajipata mahali. Hile msanda unataka hauna. Chenye ulikuwa mezoya hauna. Apo ndipo sasa unaingianka kwa kona. Ngelesa inakuanga ya kona. Hile ni kama kiberiti. Uwe si pita. Unafika pale ya fandia na kona. Mpaka ukienda kwa chawa na kuchungulia hile. Unafanya nini? Unesanda kubomua. Sasa ndi unajonga uko kwa tika ulimuengu. Unajipatanga. Kwa sibibi na semanga uko na nguvu kwa ulimi yako ya uhai na ya kifu mm -hmm. ndiyo unachaguta utataka gani mm -hmm. so nikajipata prison na nikakasirika sana by the way niliishi nimelewa na wazazi wawili wa meokoka nikurudisha nyuma kidogo hili unielewe kiasi niliishi kujua mungu wa mamangu kwa sinigepato na kashinda kidogo sana hata sigu wanaitana biguni mtu wa kwanza hata nipato nishikuwa na polisi Niweko ndani kwa sinilishi kushikuwa mala mingi sana by the way. Nilikuwa sikuwa mtu mzuri, mm -hmm. ni mungu wa menitengeneza. Polisi yange niambia nimefanya makosa ama nanuka pombe, sinjui nikuwa kwa mbala, nikuwa natoka nae na makofi. On that note, we are going to take a short break. Viewers, I hope you are learning as much as I am learning. Life before going to prison. We have heard from our guests that 
It only took him two days to commit a crime and found himself in prison. Uh, these are some of the small things that people do without knowing and end up being in trouble with the government and the society. We'll take a short break, and when we come back, we'll continue with this. Continue sending in your question, your comments across all our social media networks. That's GBS TV Africa. Our SMS line is 2 double four. We'll be back shortly. Thank you. 